a single volcanically active area on Io could actually produce more lava than all of the active volcanoes on Earth combined at any given time. It's incredible. Io's vast lava lakes explained something that was once a mystery. Io gets hit by asteroids just like every other world. So why are there no asteroid impact craters? The answer, Io's landscape changes constantly. Every crater is quickly buried under a torrent of magma. Isle's surface is forever young. One mystery solved, others not. Where does the heat come from? Isle's volcanoes shouldn't exist. Normally, a relatively small moon like Io would be expected to be geologically dead. And that's because the internal heat with which it was born quickly escapes from the body and it becomes cold and, and solidified. The heat that powers volcanoes on Earth comes from radioactivity deep in our planet's interior. Beneath a crust of solid rock, Earth's interior is molten. When the pressure gets too high, liquid rock punches through a volcano. Isle must have a molten interior too, else no volcanoes. But there's no radioactive core. For life to form, we need the ingredients of liquid water and nutrients, or organic molecules, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, the kinds of atoms that can make organic molecules. In addition, you need energy to drive the chemistry. That energy has to come from somewhere. Volcanoes could be very important in the origin of life because they release energy into a very concentrated spot where those chemical reactions can start. Life needs heat to drive chemical reactions. It needs complex chemicals to do the reacting. And it needs a liquid to dissolve them in. On Earth, many scientists believe life got started here, three miles down in the ocean. There's water to dissolve chemicals and heat to power complex reactions. A different kind of volcanism. Hydrothermal vents. Superheated water erupts through fissures in the seafloor at over 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet even in these brutal conditions, there is life, lots of life. Those places, those hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor are teeming with life. They're very productive, astrobiologically speaking. Find hydrothermal vents like these on another planet, and perhaps we'll find life there too. Such a place exists, not a planet, a moon. Today, its summit towers 16 miles above the Martian plains. This is how it may have looked when it was active three billion years ago. It made Mars a very different place. In Mars's early days, volcanoes helped create an atmosphere. With an atmosphere came water, rivers, oceans, and the possibility of life. But fast forward through billions of years, and the face of Mars changes. The hot spot driving Olympus Mons cools. Volcanism died on Mars primarily because Mars's internal store of heat rather quickly dissipated away. Mars is only half the size of the Earth, so the, so the heat got lost and it wasn't able to maintain a sufficiently molten interior that moved around and drove plate tectonics the way it does on Earth. With a cooling interior, Olympus Mons slowly stops erupting. 
With no volcanoes and no hot core, most of the planet's atmosphere blows away into space. Mars becomes a dusty, cold, and barren wasteland. Once the atmosphere was depleted, liquid water couldn't exist on the surface any, any longer. So if there were any primitive life on Mars at the surface, it died out at that time as well.